guys, I think we're the chance here for my 84th video review. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Today we're going to be looking at um, something I ordered off of Amazon. Today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Studio Series, Deluxe Class, the R of the RC Sisters of RC, Chromia, and Alita One. So for the package, you got this very cool open window of, of RC, Alita One, and Chromia, and um, their, their names are right here. Um, they're, tra they're from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and, and they were made by Hasbro. On the side, you get a really nice image of the RC Twins, and they are number 52. You get another image of them right here. And on the back of the package, you get RC in her robot mode. And she transformed to 15 steps. You get Chrome. Actually, I'm sorry. You get RC in her robot mode, her motorcycle mode. She transformed to 15 steps. You get Chromia in her robot mode, motorcycle mode, transforms in 12 steps. And for Alita 1, you get her in her robot mode and motorcycle mode and transform in 16 steps. And they are from the, the Shanghai. They're from the Shanghai Pursuit. And it, I think, and then you have a little bio here. It says, um, it says, Chromia, RC, and Alita One are in hot pursuit of. Um, uh, sorry. Let me slow down a little. Chromia, Chromia, RC, and Alita One are in hot, hot pursuit of Decepticons, and that's what it says. So for the package of, of these three, well, I didn't. Well, not just, I didn't really just buy this. I also did buy this. I also bought Shockwave. Sorry. I bought Shockwave. So, I'll, I'll review him next. So, anyway. So, so for the package of these girls, that's about it. So, let, let me get these girls out here and see how awesome, let's see how awesome and small they actually are. So, here we have the RC sisters open up and out of their package and also in their motorcycle mode. And I know I'm holding them like this because they're very small. So, they there's motorcycle modes. Hold on, I'm gonna do I'm I'm gonna do this. Hold on. So, the motorcycle modes do look really look not they look very nice, in my opinion. You know, uh, now RC is is just gonna look pink and Chromia is blue and I know Alita one is basically purple, but I thought a lot of people say hey I think I thought Chromia was purple. Um, I think I guess we're wrong. She's blue. So let's start off with RC. So R so with RC she does look like her she does have that pink style. Um I'm glad I'm I'm really appreciating I appreciate what they done to the figure a little bit with well I'm I don't know. Really nice pink detail with the pink re really nice paint uh of the pink color like she was in the cartoon. Um, because she was basically pink in the cartoon anyway, and I'm glad Michael Bay made her pink. Um, so she has a really, sorry, she has a nice, um, some kind of windshield here, and, and I really like the headlights, <coughs> the headlights here, and I think on the back here, I don't know nothing about motorcycles, but I think these are like fire smoke stacks or something, and the wheels here are are really nice you know really good job with the wheels and i'm sure you you see her arm here and you see her arm there you see all this beautiful pink gray and you see you do see the black seat here because well yeah it is what it is that's all i just don't know nothing about motorcycles sorry um and here is Chromia. Um, this actually, this is my second time getting Chromia, and this is my uh, first time getting RC. Um, this is my second time getting Chromia because I have the Chromia from from Power. No, I'm sorry. I have Chromia. I have the Chromia from C from Transformer Siege. Um, so Chromia is a motorcycle. In the cartoon, she was a car, a Cybertronian vehicle. Well, both RC, well, both RC and the Chromia were vehicles, and I don't know about, I don't know if Elite One actually. I don't think Elite One transforms in the cartoon, but in the movie she does. Um, she does have this really nice, um, really nice black wheel here, like RC does. Um, 
she does have that really um, nice blue color here I really like the blue here the blue I think the blue on this on this figure looks really like looks exactly like chromia I think I think some people say in the movie she's a little she was a little bit blue purple mixed color ish but I think she's basically blue I might have to rewatch the movie I'll rewatch Revenge of the Fallen see what color chromia is I think she's mostly just purple or blue because I, I think some people say that she was designed blue I mean I'm sorry purple I said well I think you're wrong she's blue well she was blue anyway so really nice smokestacks here and the wheels and all this nice blue uh, paint because blue is my favorite color mostly and the and but not at least um, not well mostly the last one I'm just gonna say so the last one is Alida one oops sorry didn't realize that Alida one is Alida one is purple <laughs> funny I know her arm actually just her arm is a wheel <coughs> um so so here we have Alita one she has this really cool purple color color like she had in the movie um, I'm glad they gave her that really nice I guess maybe Michael Bay probably gave decided to give her give her a purple color instead of a pink color instead but I don't blame I don't blame Alita one I don't blame her for that but I'm, I'm I don't really have a problem with her being purple because I'm it's okay because RC was purple in the Transformers Prime animated series but in the cartoons she's pink um because this one looks it looks a little bit like rc from transformers prime i believe but it, it's okay because rc was a motorcycle in transformers prime anyway um so it's nice purple color and nice silver on the uh the silver paint here and the headlights and really nice headlights on uh chromia and the I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Revenge of the Fallen, but I gotta rewatch it anyways. Um, and I think this, I think this is some 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 kind of piece where you, I I don't know. Who who knows? They do come with accessories. They come with um they come with um basically stands. So I believe this is RC's. One of them is Chrome. Hold on a second, because. This one's Alita's. I I think this one's Alita's and this one's Chromia's. Oh yeah, this one's Chromia's. This one's Alita's, and this one is RC's. This is RC. So I'm glad. It, I'm glad the. I'm glad Hasbro actually gave them stands. So that way, because their feet are actually wheels, and they do come with um, um. So RC and Chromia do come with um because RC comes with this little shotgun here. I might not put this on her arm because otherwise her arm just gonna come off and get stuck. I don't know. We'll see. And I heard this piece is supposed to go on RC, but I really wanted to put this on Chromia because she's blue. Um, this never happened. I don't because RC never had this in the um had this on in the movie because it's supposed to attach to her shoulder. Um, and also Chromia does because and and for Chromia she does come with this really nice, this really sharp blade, but it's blue. I don't know if I've seen her blade. I don't know if none of us seen her blade in, in the movie. Um, but who knows? Um, what else they come with? They, and also, they come with really... Like the other Studio Series figures, they come with backdrops. So this is a scene where they um trying to defeat um, a Decepticon named Sideways. Um, this is where um, the... Sh the um, 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 Shing Yai, the Shanghai the Shing Yai, um, battle began... Did begin in the in the beginning of Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, and this is where they try to, to try to kill um sa um sideways in the movie. And they do come with um nice menus. They do come with menus. Um, I understand they're very small. Um, and they do come with figures in the backdrop now. So near Soundwave, I still got to get Soundwave. I'm try. I already, I already got Bumblebee. Now I need Soundwave. I'll try to find Soundwave either. I might either get Soundwave off of Amazon or I would just probably just buy them in person. I'll make the decision. It is what it is. So, 
Yeah, these females are small. So, I don't think they were small in the cart. They weren't small in the cartoon, but R.C. was very small in Transformers Prime. Um, reason why, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I understand Hasbro did rewatch the movie, be like, hmm, maybe we should make them a little bit smaller, but a lot of people say they look like Legend Class figures, which I will get into that later. They don't look like Deluxes anyway, so let's get into Transformation, and the person I'm going to start with is RC. So for RC, I think she's really easy to transform with. First, what you want to do is go ahead, I don't know if she's really easy, but who knows. Let's check it out. First, what you want to do is go ahead, I just attach this um, off, you just... Uh, yeah, you just you can just go ahead and put this on the side, grab the arm, grab this little arm, her other arm, just put it right there. Come around here, attach this from here, just put it up to the side, um, and just grab the whole body and attach it up, just like that. Want to rotate? Sorry, you want to. Let me put this closer. You want to go ahead and rotate her. Just put her back. And then I just, and what you want to do is go ahead and just, uh, just, uh, hold on, I got to get these things out of the way. All right, so we just, you, you want to just attach these. I know these pink things are in the, these pink pieces are in the way right now, but I ain't going to worry about it. So here we have, okay. Um, trying to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. So you just want to just tab these. A tab, just attach these in. My bad. It's hot in here. And then also what you want to do is go ahead and just rotate. Uh, just do a rotation of the upper body. Just like that and then you can just put this back just like that I think that's how she is in the okay so that's how she is okay fine oh okay never mind I'm just trying to do this without breaking her and then just fiddle with her and you just want to just put the shoulder, put this. Wanna get just going and put this right here, just like that, and just fill it with her for a minute. And I'll just, I'm sorry, I'll just go ahead, I'll just uh, go ahead and just put this piece up, just like that. And yep, and let me find her stand. Oh, here's her stand. She does come with her stand, like I said. So you just wanna attach it in. Uh, is this her stand? Oh yeah, it's her stand. Okay, so. Oh wait, this is not her stand. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll get that later. Hold on a second, guys. Trying to find the right, oh, here we go. You just wanna go ahead and attach this in, just like that, and, and then when you're done, I'll attach the gun in a little later on, but when you're done, do you have RC in her robot mode? The next person that we are going to transform is Chromia. So for Chromia, I think she's a, she's more more easier. First, what you want to do is go ahead and just attach this. Sorry for not showing you. And you just want to tap, untap everything. Hang on. I'm trying to do this without breaking. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you just want to put her arm up to the side. Take her, and then right here she's dab. Look at her, she's dabbing. She's leaning and dabbing. Lean and dab. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, take the arm out. I'm just being silly. Yeah, just take the arm out. Take the arms out, and uh, just take the whole body uh, down, just like so, just like that. And you just wanna rotate her whole body just like that, and then. Just put the put these little arms down, and you just put this arm down, rotate it, and you just want to go ahead and put this 
Grab her little head. Rotate it. And then you just, uh, just put it like that. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I got this right. I don't. All she's doing is sitting down. I'm um, stand up. Come on. Hold on a second. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I know. I know I'm doing something wrong here. I forgot to rotate her body. My bad. I forgot to show you that. And I'll just I'll just leave it up here for now, just in case for now. Well, who knows? Ugh. Okay, and then you want to grab her uh, stand, and you just want to attach it in. And then here she is. Oh, my bad. Here she is, because I know this can come. This comes off very easily, so who knows? So when you're done, there you have Chromia in her robot mode. And next, the last one is Alita One. So for Alita One, she's really, I feel like these, these transformers are really easy to do. First, what you want to do is go ahead and just tab this out, take this out, um, put it in just like that. Just take this little arm out, and what you want to do is grab this arm, attach it out, uh, just grab the entire arm out, just like that. Um, you just come around here to here just uh, just put this just put this little piece down for now um, and then you just want to rotate her entire hold on a second okay I guess I'm so you just want to just rotate here. Oh, let me just put this down. You just want to rotate her body just like that. Twist her upper body. Twist up to her upper body just like that. Okay, now okay, now I know what I'm doing. And then you go ahead and just do is just take this piece down just like that. Take this little piece out and just let her just probably just is this how she goes okay never mind I'll I'll fit it with it later and then just put her arm down just like that And then, where's her stand? Oh, here it is. And right here, you just want to go ahead and just... Okay. And you just want to put it in, just like... Try to figure out which side. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to wait a second. Okay. I think you, oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta move this out of the way. You just wanna tab this piece in. I guess her stand doesn't wanna go in. I guess she doesn't want to get on her stand right now. Oh well, I guess I'll have to fight with it later. Sorry, Alita. I tried. Yeah, she's very small, though. Okay, here we go. 
Oh well, I guess I'll fight with her later. And then right here, you just want to just um grab this piece, put it, like right behind her. It seems like here we go. Ugh, it just don't want to go in. Hold on a second. Oh, here we go. Okay, now you go ahead and just do that. I don't know. If she, I don't know if she's supposed to look like this, but who knows? So, I think we're done. Yes, we are done with the girls. I'll have to fiddle with um. Actually, I'm gonna take both stands off. Will probably be better. I'm, I'm, I'll put this stand back on later. So when you're, anyway, so when you're done, I'll grab Alita. And when you're done, there you, there you have the RC sisters of Chromia, RC, and Alita 1 in their small, beautiful, gorgeous robot mode. And a lot of people, I think some people, and I think the RC sisters, they look very small. So RC small, Chromia small, Alita small. Sorry for not trying. Tr I tried everything to put her stand on. I have to fight with it later. Um, so for now, so so I think these two girls look fine, in my opinion. But I think they look pretty good. Um, these girls actually look pretty good. Um, they look they look fine to me. But I think, to my opinion, right now on the outside, they look absolutely good looking. Um, Chromia and the RC sisters do have the same exact head sculpts. So with their head sculpts, let's do both head sculpts. So for the head sculpts, they look exactly uh, the same for them for mo mostly. Um, and I think their robot modes look fine. Well, who knows? Okay, whatever. So let's start with RC. So RC, RC in robot mode looks looks pretty good a little bit, but. I, but um, the way that she is very small, um, her, her small um, to her robot mode, her her small, her small, well, whatever. So she's very small. That's all I gotta say. Her robot mode looks probably looks a little bit like the same as the her body from the movie. Um, I think she looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to blame, I'm not going to blame, um, Hasbro with the, the way they made them. So she does come with her little, she also, this is also her, her handgun. And so she does come with her, her other gun. She comes with her, um, she does come with her little gun. Oops. Oh, here we go. So she does come with her little gun. You can attach it in. I just don't want to attach it in because I just don't want the arm to like come off or something. Um, let me see if I can get it in. Yep, it can actually go in. Actually, it doesn't really tab in. Oh, look! Now she, now she's ready for action. Now she's ready for action. Next, for so for so for Chromia, so for Chromia, um, she does come with accessories like always. Um. This little piece, oh yeah, this is supposed to go on RC, but I really wanted to put, the, I'm just gonna put this on Chromia. Let me see if I can fit this on Chromia. Let's see if it fits on her. If not, that's fine. Okay, it just doesn't want to go in. Oh, so told you. So I guess I'll put her blade in. Where's her blade? Here it is. So she does come with her blade for the most part. Um, what you want to do is just attach it here to this little hole. Just want to peg it 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong hole. You just want to tap it here. And now she's ready for action, sort of. <laughs> now she's ready. Now she's ready for action. And for Alita, she's ready for action. She doesn't really come with anything. Um, all she does is have her little wheel, like, like she's like she's like, like punching somebody in the face with it. Um, the articulations, um, they, so the articulations, um, so um, she can actually. Uh, I heard the arm. I heard the. I heard the. I think, I. I did watch some videos about the the RC sisters, and I heard their um. <coughs> I heard their arm, their arms do come out, and I did watch some videos about this. I heard people were complaining. I heard some some YouTubers were complaining about this. I don't really have a problem with it because her blade supposed to be on this side. This little small blade supposed to be on this side, but I I, just, I don't think it's gonna bother me. It doesn't bother me all that much. Um. But I don't have a problem with um, Alita One and the way that Alita One and Chromia looks, and including RC, I, they, they don't bother me. Yeah, so they look pretty, pretty. They look pretty. So, um, and for RC, uh, she can actually more for arm up. You can actually uh, take this off. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm just gonna leave it on. Um, and she can uh, move her arm and yeah it's a little wobbly it's a little loosen um she can actually move her body though let me see if i can attach this to rc because this is supposed to be on rc and i really don't want to put this on rc because she's pink not blue let me see oh yeah this can go on rc let me check chromia all right, let's put this on Chromia, see if it helps. All right, if all those fails, oh well, that's fine. Oh well, I guess it's supposed to be on RC. So for Chromia's articulation, um, she can move her arm up and down, and she can move uh, this, oh. I didn't know this. But it's fine. It is what it is. Um, these, these these girls look... They, these girls, I think to me, they look pretty good in their robot modes. But they're not, they're not really deluxe class figures. I did watch them. I also did see some videos that they're not really... Um, they're not um, deluxe class. They're uh, legend class figures, which I do recently do agree that they're legend that they're legend class figures. Um, why not put like why not make them as legend class figures? Would have been better versus or you can have made them a little bit bigger, or you can make them you could have made them as the same size as the number eighteen Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie, which would have been better. But otherwise, they just decided to just go and make them small. But their transformations are really easy to do. Um, I'm surprised their tra their transformations are really easy. So I think that's all I got to say for this uh, toy review for the RC sisters of RC, Chromia, and Alita 1. And I'm sorry for, that I couldn't get Alita's um, stand on, but I'll have to fight with it later. Um, so I think that's all I got to say for this toy review for the RC sisters. So be sure to like, subscribe, press notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see y'all my and I'll see y'all on my next review for Studio Series Shockwave.